Begin by removing the upper intake tube that runs along the top of the valve cover, Purple Arrow. Please see our article by following a link at the end of this video for additional assistance. Once removed, pull the black plastic cover off the top of the valve cover. Remove the cap covering the fuel pressure test port green arrow. Place a rag next to the Schrader valve green arrow and use a small screwdriver to press the valve down. This will bleed off any residual pressure in the fuel line. Disconnect the two 17mm fittings holding the feed and return lines to the fuel rail, green arrows. It's a good idea to have a rag underneath as some fuel will probably spill out. You'll also need to counterhold the nuts built into the rail using another wrench, yellow arrow. Now disconnect the electrical connectors to each fuel injector by squeezing the two tabs together, green arrows, and pulling the connector off. It's very difficult to show the locations of the 6mm bolts that hold the fuel rail to the intake manifold. So I've included this picture to demonstrate with the fuel rail removed, green arrows, take your time as these bolts can be very difficult to remove. Now cut the zip ties holding the wiring loom to the fuel rail. Pull the loom free and pull the fuel rail up and out of the intake manifold. Set the fuel rail gently in a vise and remove the small clips that secure each injector to the fuel rail. A small pick helps to do the job as shown here. Pull each injector up and out of the fuel rail. You may need to use a small screwdriver to help pry it out. Check the inside of each port on the fuel rail and see if the o-ring has remained inside. If so, remove them and throw them away. Carefully pull the o-rings out of both ends of the injector, green arrows. If you are just cleaning the injectors and they do not install new o-rings, you should replace the o-rings every time you remove or reinstall an injector. New injectors should come with new o-rings. Place a small amount of white lithium grease on each o-ring, keeping it away from the spray pattern part of the injector and reinstall into the fuel rail. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.